Charles, great to have you back on the show. I mean, Sam Zell, part of the reason we played that sound right there, he's been through a number of Fed tightening and loosening cycles, has had kind of a front row seat in terms of his private equity holdings and, and, and the real estate uh, that he oversees. You've been through a number of cycles as well, and I think back to your time at the Philadelphia, as Philadelphia Fed president during the deflation, the inflating and deflating of the housing and financial market bubbles uh, last decade. I want to get your response to what he just said there. Is this, is this essentially typical? I, that's very interesting. His comments are very interesting, and I tend to agree with him for the most part. Um, I think uh, monetary policy for the last 15 years has been, in many respects, very extreme. Um, and that has consequences at the end of the day. Having said that, um, I, don't, I don't believe that um, the statement uh, has said, said anything different from what the Fed was intending in any of it. I think many people were looking at the statement, hoping to find some um, weakening in the Fed's um, resolve, if you will, to, to slow down or stop or pivot or all the language. They were looking for that, but the statement really didn't say that. It has always been about what Powell said, we have to get rates high enough to restrain economic activity and growth. That has always been the necessity. And that's all the statement said in the sense that Cumulative response is no different from saying we've got to get to the right level. He admitted that, you know, they don't quite sure what the precise level is, but it's, they're not close to it yet. And so I think um, the statement was actually quite good, I think. And you know me, I'm not one to not criticize hmm. the Fed. <laughs> but, but I thought <laughs> that the, the that power was quite firm, and I believe he had to be. He had to yeah. continue with demonstrating the Fed's resolve because their credibility is at stake. Yeah. I mean, he basically said that over-tightening is the lesser of two evils versus underdoing it because the central bank can ultimately undo it if they overshoot the mark. Um, and he didn't actually come out and say that, that they've made peace with the very strong and rising possibility of, yeah. of a recession come 2023, but he kind of implied it in some of his responses to, to reporters yesterday. Do you see it the same way? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I, I think that... I'm sorry. You're a popular um, man. I, no, I don't know what... I thought I'd cut it off. I'm sorry. I apologize. Anyway, I think <laughs> that... Um, uh, I think Powell... Was correct. I see it. I generally see it that way. I don't think there was any indication. I didn't read the statement as any indication. Well, any indication at all that they were uh, Powell or the Fed was under pressure internally here on this issue. At least not yet. I really think that the the difficult part for the Fed is yet to come. They are going to have to raise rates further. I believe they can get as high as six percent. Um, wow. Or more. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, uh, I think it's really important that the Fed stick with that uh, and uh, and try their best to demonstrate the resolve that they need uh, to build their credibility to make this work. Because I agree with Powell that the danger, the risks are not staying firm long enough in getting in control of inflation. If they waver, right. then solving the problem will get even more difficult and more damaging to the economy as a whole. Mm. I think that's and the right balance of risk at this point. 